This episode is sponsored by NordVPN. Later in the video, we'll show you how you can save 75% on your very own subscription and get an extra month for free. We've made a few basic instruments using materials sourced from scratch. But next, let's explore a more complicated instrument. This time, instead of making it from scratch, starting from discarded trash. Let's see if I can make an electric guitar from car parts. And naturally, it wouldn't be complete without a built-in flamethrower. But first, I want to get some advice from someone who knows a little bit about guitars. <laughs> so I'm here with Marty of Marty Music, and do you want to tell me a little bit about what Marty Music is? Marty Music is a YouTube channel, primarily guitar lessons, beginner, blues, rock and roll. You know, we'll talk about music concepts, music issues. You can probably help me with this. I wanted to build my own guitar using leftover car parts. Yeah, nice. I love that idea. I'm really excited by that idea. <laughs> so I'm not super familiar with the parts of a guitar and what, what I really need to do, so maybe you can give me some advice on what pieces I should look for and... Uh... Well, the first electric guitar was literally a neck, you know, like a fingerboard with strings and these little brackets here are called frets. Mm -hmm. So within the space of the fret, you get a different pitch. Okay, the nut is this piece of the guitar right here. It's the starting point of the sound. Mm -hmm. Like, if this nut wasn't there, nothing would be happening. This whole piece right here is called the bridge. The saddle is basically like the opposite end of the nut and it's holding the, the strings together mm -hmm. and the pins are keeping it really tight because you need them to be wound pretty tight to, to make a tone. Now this is the body of the guitar mm -hmm. and on an acoustic guitar, you know, the body has got the sound hole, it's hollow and so it, you know, uh, this is an electric acoustic so this is, uh, electric as well as acoustic. Mm -hmm. um, so you're gonna need something, on an electric guitar, they're called pickups. They're magnetically coiled little devices that pick up the vibrations and then send an electric signal into amplification. I think I'm gonna head out to the junkyard, see what I can find, see what I can get to work, and uh, mind if I bring it back and we can actually play it? That sounds awesome. I'm really excited to see what you uh, come up with. To get things started, I paid a visit to you pull our parts. At a junkyard right now, and try and find some parts to repurpose, make an electric guitar. See what we can find. Bad idea. Right. What else do we got? I'm gonna start a pile. Where does the hood release go? Guitar string. Ta da! I think that should be enough for six strings. <laughs> no! Real fake wood. It's beauty. Andy, you find anything? Yeah. Some strings, piece of the metal. Oh, sweet. Mm. I think I'd want it to go like this. I might want it a bit longer. <laughs> Let's just pop out. Man, I should steal stereo, so this is really easy. This one's got a tape deck and CD player. I want the speakers too. This new series, how to steal everything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our only rule is you can't buy anything. Can't say anything about stealing. Let's take the whole door. Speaker. Boom, boom, boom. Got a boom box. Literally did. Got a docking station for iPod. <laughs> that might be a little bit easier. Back from the junkyard, got all the pieces, and it already looks like a guitar, doesn't it? Two things are important to an electric guitar. 
It's the guitar part for which I have the strings. Then you have the electric part which amplifies it. And for that I'm gonna try and convert some speakers into a microphone and then build my own little amp from a car stereo to amplify it. But first thing to make sure all these speakers actually work. The little Bluetooth player and a little adapter. So just gotta plug the wires in, see if they even work. Already right, sounds like a guitar. So this one works. Let's just see if these big ones work. All right, I guess we're working speakers. It's really just gonna put the speaker inside here and then air guitar. To turn my guitar into an electric guitar, I need to amplify the sound it produces. So for that, I'm going to turn one of these speakers into an actual microphone. A microphone and a speaker basically work the same way. So I just gotta plug this into the microphone port and it should capture the sound, which I can then put into the stereo to amplify and then spit out to these other speakers nice and loud. So let's test it out and make sure it'll work. Check, check, check. Check, check, can you hear me? Check, check. So that proves that these work as an actual microphone, which is a good sign. So now I just gotta hook it up to the stereos and then to the speakers. I just gotta make some noise for it to amplify. Looks like I got a set of working speakers at least. I still need to figure out if the stereos themselves will work. First, I'm going to start cutting down this exhaust system to form the actual body. Cut about here, make it a bit more manageable size, and then cut this straight section of the exhaust pipe and weld it back on to form a straight neck for it. Let's get cutting. Next, I need to make the amp so we can make this loud. I have the speaker system that I ripped from the car. It's a little tweeter I'm gonna use, put it in the actual guitar to reverse it as a microphone and capture the sound. And that's gonna run to the stereo, which will then spit it out nice and loud to the speakers. Got the sweet hub cap. I'm gonna use that to hold all the speakers in place, find some way to mount it onto here, spit it out nice and loud. Got them all rigged up. Just gotta find a way to get it to sit upright. Huh, this might not work. Crap, just throw the trash. Whoa. All right, 
right, new plan. Garbage can cabinet. Let's go wire it up now. Now we can plug in the auxiliary port and see if the speakers work. All right, so I got all those speakers connected to the stereo. I just gotta get the pickup in the guitar and hooked up to here and start boosting some guitar. Two, four, eight. This might be easier with a drill. God, there's lots of sharp edges on this. Use some seatbelt buckles for the nut and saddle that holds the strings. Now we weld. As I strung and tuned the strings, I found there was too much of a gap between them and the neck, so I had to lower them. Nice! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then finally, after four hours of struggling to get the strings on the guitar, it was nearly all set. Hello? All right, now I just gotta install the microphone and put it inside the resonance chamber here and amplify. Amp amplify. <laughs> all right, just plug it in and jam. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Need to tune it up. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, so I'm gonna get some help from Marty to see how well we can get this to actually play a song. I don't know. I'm being hacked. Virtual private network. It's NordVPN.com slash HTME. Nah, uh, uh. Now with NordVPN. Nah, uh, uh. Now with NordVPN. It's a proxy firewall server. Military grade encryption. No. No. Yes. It's got an automatic kill switch. Crack his cell. Thankfully, I have NordVPN. For a limited time, get 75% off a three-year plan at nordvpn.com slash HTME. And for a short time, use code HTME to get an extra month of NordVPN for free. Click the link below to get there. Here's my completed junkyard guitar. It's awesome! <laughs> so I started with a muffler body and cut it down to a little bit closer to a guitar size. 
put a hole in it to uh, help capture a little bit of resonance. It's kind of acoustic electric guitar. Then for the neck, I used the pipe that was inside of it that was actually straighter, flattened it with a car, welded it all together. For the strings, I used hood release cable. Seems to work fairly well. They're all the same gauge, so that might make it a challenge to tune. And I have them held on by bolts at each end. Pick guard, made out of license plate. <laughs> yeah. Strap is an actual seatbelt strap. Built it a little makeshift amp. Took the speaker system out of the car, zip tied it to a hubcap, and then hooked it up to a stereo to boost it. And then one of the speakers is inside, and it's been reversed to use it as a microphone to pick up the resonance and make it an actual electric guitar. It is so cool. And then the frets are made. Leftover welding rods from all the other welding, and then there's a broken drill bit in there too. <laughs> <laughs> Just for good measure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can get this thing tuned or do our best to get it tuned. You know, this is how we normally tune in, in yeah. my world. <laughs> That one works. Marty found it a bit difficult to tune due to the gauge of the wires and found tuning multiple strings to be pretty difficult. You know, if I tighten one, it starts putting more and more tension on the neck. You know, we might have one string in tune, but when we go to put more tension on the next string, it's changing the tension on the neck, which will make it go out of tune. It's still one of the coolest guitars I've ever seen, and we're gonna, we're gonna make some music. I mean, that's the goal here. Well, basically, I've been going through all the strings, and I just found a sweet little sweet spot here. Second fret and fourth fret. And then this is actually called a minor third, which is a lot of blues and rock. Which is nice to find, or... Uh, and I'm actually able to bend a half step. Going on a plane, flying to Minneapolis. Gonna make a guitar out of a bunch of junk. Man, I feel good, oh, so good. And I can tell right away, it's a muffler. It's a muffler. It's got that muffled tone, the sweet muffled tone. Next, Marty gave me some basic lessons on how to play a few songs on my guitar. Thanks, Marty, for the help and give me a little lesson. Dude, you're a shred master now. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you want to learn how to play guitar, check out Marty's channel, Marty Music. He has great tutorials to get started if you're a beginner or any level of guitar player. So check it out. Thanks, man. After Marty's help, we took a little time to fine tune the guitar and frets so we could play a few more notes, as well as installing the crucial flamethrower, made by upcycling a fire extinguisher that was used in an upcoming video after our kiln started on fire. We built it following the instructions courtesy of King of Random. Then finally ready for the big performance. Thanks again to NordVPN for their support. Click on the link below to get your special HDMI discount. And for a limited time, use code HDMI to get an extra month for free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.